Welcome to My Dad is a Programmer, and today we're going to do a quick little lesson on the difference between a compiled and an interpreted language. So when we write computer software, uh, it's mostly written in different languages. Uh, the languages are a set of instructions for computers to follow telling it what to do. Uh, some languages are Java, C++, and Python. If we were to just sit down and start typing to a computer in these uh, different languages, the computer would not be able to understand what uh, the instructions were trying to tell it to do without using something called a language processor. Now, there are two types of language processors. There are uh, compilers and interpreters. And those two things, those compiler, compilers and interpreters, they translate that language we're telling to the computer into something that the computer can understand. And what the computer can understand is uh, binary, zero and one. So we're shooting at it all these things saying, turn this on, turn this off. But there's tons and tons and tons of these that these compilers and interpreters are generating. Now, a compiler takes a language like C++ or C Sharp, and it translates it all at once into that lower level language and creates what's called an executable. Okay, so it creates a little program called an executable. If you were to go on our computer and look at right click and say view, view file, you'd see .exe, that's an executable file. It is a program that has been compiled. And then there's something called an interpreter, okay? So an interpreter just takes what we've written and then it reads it line by line. And an example of this would be like Python where we can open up a little console and start top typing in our language and hit go, right, run. And it's going to read that Python line by line so that uh, to do the set of instructions that we've told the computer to do. Com uh, one of the biggest difference between these two types of languages is that a compiled language will not compile if there are syntax errors. It will compile uh, if there are logic errors, which is a different type of problem uh, like we didn't tell the computer the right way to do something that we wanted to do, but uh, it will not compile. But a uh, interpreted language will oftentimes compile because it's only being read line by line. So for example, if we have a mistake at the, uh, the fourth line of code in a compiled language and we hit run this program on the computer, do what I've told you to, the compiler is gonna come back and say, sorry, buddy, can't help you, you have a mistake. But if we were to use an interpretive program, it would read line one, then read line two, then read line three, and then it would come back saying, hey, there's an error in line four. So there are some pros and cons of compiled versus interpreted languages. Um, Compiled language tend to be much faster uh, because they're pre-compiled into machine code before being run. This isn't the case always. Uh, for example, um, if we have to load um, something like, if we're running just a little program on a server um, and we have to boot what's called a virtual machine, like the Java virtual machine, that might take longer even though um, Java is not the same type of interpreted language as say like Python is, where that's going to execute much quicker. Um, however, interpreted languages can be viewed as uh, much more portable. So for example, if I needed to write a little program and I wanted it to run on a server up uh, on Amazon, and I, was I could just easily type out my Python code. I wouldn't need a built-in compiler to then upload a DLL or upload a Java file to run it. I could just make my changes right there. And then finally, also, uh, compiled languages can be more difficult to debug uh, than an interpreted languages. Interpret 
encrypted languages, of course, are going to go straight to that line where there's a problem. However, you do tend to need to use a better set of tools uh, for uh, compiled languages and use features like just-in-time debugging, like in Visual Studio, to get a kind of a similar experience. So um, compiled and interpreted languages have different advantages and disadvantages. And of course, when dad is uh, trying to pick on what he needs to use for the project, he considers those. Most of the time, though, whoever dad works for is going to pick that for him.